I have no idea how long I did not upload like uh, a normalish uh, video, I guess, on my channel. Um, because, uh, I, I mean, how long did it took? Uh, because I uh, I finally bought the headset that I was talking about and I was recording all the stuff uh, in my headset but I did not really um, you know like uh, announce that on the Instagram or Facebook or whatever because um, um, it's uh, uh, for some people it's not just not interesting <laughs> um, but I uh, decided to finally do some uh, video I guess a little bit of a story time how I uh, got uh, got to move here, like move to Paris, move outside of Poland or whatever. Um, I th and I think uh, it would be it was a, because I wanted to try out one application in my uh, Oculus headset that was like kind of like a uh, Google Maps or whatever. So I wanted to try that out, and I get, I thought that it would be a good idea to like. Uh, kind of, I don't know, turn it into some little store time, I guess. I mean, I saw on the recording, I'm recording that after I recorded the footage from the headset and I saw that the recording was like one and a half hour um, of footage, so I'm not even sure if it's, if I will cut it enough to be um, <laughs> short or whatever. <laughs> so, I mean, um, tomorrow is a big heat wave in Paris, it will be like almost like 42, 43 degrees, so I'm uh, recording that um, in order, I guess, in uh, memory of me, because everyone will just fucking die from the heat tomorrow, uh, so I guess it will be like my last video, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, but uh, I, uh, I wanted to do some little story time, uh, I guess, uh, how I remember things in Poland and like how things went up with college, with school, with people, like with some situations, with, with some fun parties and whatever, like some interesting things uh, from my life, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I guess enjoy. <laughs> okay, let's see how it works. <laughs> I guess I'll try to summarize because I'm not even sure where to start. <laughs> I mean, the concept is fairly simple, it's just that I don't know how this application will work, so we'll see, we'll even test that. Don't tell me it's that bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I mean, whatever. So basically, it's Google Street View. But in VR, yeah, because they took uh, low resolution uh, pictures from that. Okay, well, I guess we'll manage. So, exit. So. Did they really use a sample from uh, iMovies? Wow. Fucking wow. How do I start it? Uh, I guess we will start from my home country, which is uh, Poland, right? Yeah. So let's go there. Where the fuck are we though? Like, <laughs> what is this? It's... Okay, I guess we are past that. Okay. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, start from the beginning. <laughs> So basically, um, I was born in uh, a shithole that was that's called Bartoszice, I think. I mean, I still think. Wait, did I? <laughs> okay, it's Bartoszice. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. It's this. Wait, how to? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much correct. Basically, it's a... I guess it's a village, but I always call it a fucking farm. Because there's nothing here. It's basically... This one is our main road in the city village. And, but, you know, 
growing up, I, I barely remember anything from from this uh, um, farm <laughs> village. Anyways, um, I guess uh, you know uh, this is the main role that was that. I think it changes, yeah, because someone the last time someone was here, the Google, the Google car was like from 2012, which really means that it's a really bad place to visit because there's not there's literally nothing here the only attraction that i guess the city has is here i don't know if i will manage to go there here is just a high gate which is also in my home city higher <laughs> which is in my home uh, city anyways in Austin. so i guess it's just there's literally nothing here, and I think here some, were some concerts or whatever. It's really like dystopian, uh, communistic still village. It's from what? 2013, so... Uh, even in 2019, I can tell you, nothing changed. It's just still the same place, with the same shops, with the same everything. Is it called K-Man or Gay-Man? <laughs> what the hell is this? Cayman, okay, whatever. I really don't remember much from, from this city, even though I... Oh, oh, see? Now it changed. From 2017. See? Nothing changed. Like, this place is just like... <laughs> it froze in time, literally, and uh, there's just... Only the sky changes the city now. So I guess we will just jump into the city that I grew up mainly. Um, uh, which is, I guess, just one hour drive from this city, um, which is Austin, where we are. Okay, so we are in the center of Austin. Um, basically, this is the main hall. Um, I guess this you can call that this is the main crossroad in the city, because there we have our... I think it was, uh, at the time, the first more modern uh, city... Uh, not city center, uh, it was... Uh, shopping hall, the first modern of the, of its kind in my, our city um, but still, you know, it's these places are located in the nov northern uh, eastern side of Poland which is, I think, to this day uh, considered the most conservative, conservative uh, part of Poland still because how I consider um, the demographic of uh, Austin especially is just that I called it city to die <laughs> basically because there are so many old people that people who are young here and like grew up here don't ha have nothing to do but to just uh, you know live in surroundings of old people and and uh, get older with them and then just like this is this area is really uh, like, you know, a lot of nature, especially in the uh, outskirts of Pond of Ocean because we are basically surrounded with lakes and forests. The problem is that this city is just not um, pleasant for, I guess, modern society that uh, we are growing up with and uh, comparing to, for example, the Western Europe or whatever the northern side, northern cities of Poland are still conservative bullshit here. Uh, I guess I go, I, I'll just try to go to my... Uh, no, 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 because it was the second. Okay, so I guess we will just uh, uh, go to my original place that I grew up with in. I mean, district. Um, I mean... There is a second crossroad that... What was that? <laughs> um, there is a second crossroad in the city that is kind of considered like a um, center of Austin. Here we have a McDonald's, which in, in uh, our times it was like a luxury to have um, <laughs> in our... See? You know. Old. 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 I can like pinpoint everything there someone uh, 
someone is old also. It's just city with old people. I guess that's why I was so annoyed with this um, city, especially that I moved out when I, w I went to college. It's just that there was nothing promising for me here, even though it was... I wouldn't say it was lovely to grow up here, I would say it was just um, living in a small bubble <laughs> of uh, crap. Uh... Oh, I think I saw some fogs. <laughs> ah, it's our city flavor. The bad boys of the fucking city. <sighs> what is he wearing anyways? Is it the jogging pants? I swear, like these days, the kids in this city are fucking atrocious. <laughs> I wonder if I will recognize someone on the streets because there are still so many place, uh, people that uh, still live in Austin from my um, times when I was living here that I know <laughs> it's unfortunate they are uh, blurred out but uh, I think for sure I would uh, recognize someone <laughs> I wonder if like the car from the Google that was crossing by. It was just like a fucking millennium of the attraction that was in the city because, see, hello! <laughs> because literally there is nothing here. This is the fucking church. Old, 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 old. You know, I have nothing against old people, but <laughs> you know, Jesus Christ. Growing up with, in a place like that was a uh, I would say, I wouldn't say it was traumatic, but it was. <laughs> okay, yeah, I grew up on this uh, district here. Who the hell are these people? <laughs> <laughs> Again, granny comes by, okay. I guess we'll just stop by here. <laughs> I think it was a little bit too awkward that uh, the car went here for just scanning the whole um, district here. <laughs> That's why they're like looking like they are seeing like some ghost here. Basically I was living uh, in this part of uh, um, Austin that I always remember. Um, from what I remember that I had a lovely dog which uh, was called Shanti at the time and I think that was my one of my earliest memories uh, from my childhood, at, at least. Um, I remember I would, uh, when I got him, I would uh, um, take him out of the walk on my hands, just like carrying him uh, through the, however it was called, <laughs> through the street, to just like uh, showing off to people that I got a new puppy. And that was, it's a really sweet memory that I have. Uh, but you know, he died. <laughs> but it's basically that uh, my uh, whenever I had any pet in my life, they died tragic death. Uh, which I don't know why. I guess it's just the de destiny to. Um, what if someone lives with me? It's destined to die in a tragic way that uh, will be. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe assigned to. Um, not have anything with me living. <laughs> um, basically, I had three pets in my lifetime that I had a, pet, a dog, he was called Shanti, yeah. He was hit by a truck on the road, which uh, I think it was when my mom, uh, like, uh, uh, he was on a leash in a forest, I think, and one, at one time uh, she. Um, like uh, released him from the leash uh, because uh, normally in the forest uh, dogs in Poland just like uh, run around uh, do their stuff but I guess uh, Shanti wanted to um... I mean I was not on the place so I can't just speak uh, how I was told that he was hit by a truck because he uh, suddenly jumped uh, onto the road and truck hit him and he like flew 10 meters across the road on the other side of the uh, street, the uh, road, 
and and like like on the spot. That's what I heard at least. Um, the second uh, pet that I had was uh, like a water turtle, I think in in like an aquarium or terrarium. I'm not even sure how it's called. It was like a um, small um, small thingy that you put. Uh, uh, water turtles are like not really. Um, demanding on taking care of uh, um, but I think uh, it was the time when uh, it was summer and uh, the turtle had in his uh, um, like place of living uh, like a little thing that was heating up the, the water here uh, in the uh, in the I don't know whatever, whatever was that <laughs> and we went away for I think one day just out of town and then came back and what happened, it was really strange because we were uh, doing that constantly, like uh, every few weeks we would just go and leave the turtle in this water with this thingy that was heating up the water on normally. Um, but one time when we came back, uh, what happened is that the turtle was, um, and it was summer. So, uh, I think it was summer, I'm not even sure. <laughs> Maybe it was winter, that's why, I don't know. So uh, the turtle was uh, stuck onto the uh, heating panel um, and uh, basically all the water uh, evaporated and water and the turtle was uh, like 100% uh, dried up, like no water, no nothing. And the turtle was just like a, basically a shell with a really crumbly body of like remainings of the turtle. <laughs> So that was another tragic death, I guess. <laughs> and the third one was uh, I got a lizard um, from my dad when he was uh, traveling to Thailand. Look at these dudes. <laughs> they're looking like there's some ghosts here. It was just normal car with uh, a camera. The chill out, people. And, it, and it's this year. It's, it's the current year and this place still looks like that. And there's even the same fucking toy toy that was here all the time <laughs> what is happening so the third pet i had was a lizard that my uh, dad uh, accidentally uh, took uh, with him from um, thailand when he was traveling with his friend uh, for just i guess what vacation uh, like because in the past he was a diving instructor so i guess in thailand he went uh, diving or whatever so uh, one day the turtle, uh, not fucking turtle, the lizard, um, he was living normally in the terrarium, right? Yeah, in a glass terrarium and uh, one day when I was waking up in the morning doing uh, normal stuff like uh, doing my breakfast, I poured uh, in the, the cornflakes in my bowl and here is the thing, there are two Fuck, this thing is too here. Okay, there are two um, two versions of the story that I don't know if um, one of them is uh, true or not. I can't go there. Wow, the car d didn't even bother to go there. <laughs> uh, there are two versions to the story that I uh, first of all uh, I uh, when, whenever you do a cereal, I was heating up the milk to pour it in the cereal. It's not a breakfast tutorial, so I won't uh, go into the details. Uh, but basically, the first version of the story is that um, um, the lizard uh, was already dead in my cereal, and then I poured hot milk on, onto it, and, I, and maybe then he died or something. Uh, or I don't know, maybe he was sleeping, I'm not even sure. Maybe I boiled the, <laughs> the lizard in my cereal, the second uh, version was that. Oh yeah, the first version was that I boiled uh, hot water. I poured hot water on onto the lizard when he was sleeping on, uh, in my cereal or whatever. Uh, the second version is that uh, he was already dead, and I was just trying to eat uh, cereal with additional flavors of that lizard. Um, so. He might have been alive. He might have been dead. The, se the result, the result is the same. Anyways, it, it, it he was um, just like um, his um, time. <laughs> 
So I guess that's, that's the story. So I really want to get another pet for myself or whatever, but it's, um, you know, I know that he will inevitably uh, die tragic death, so I guess I'm just like saving up the suffering <laughs> for the, my future pets. It's not my thing, I mean, it's not my... <laughs> whatever, like, uh, shit happens, I guess. So I was living here, I think I was living here for like... When I uh, started primary school in other school, because I... I moved from my last three years, yeah, because uh, the school system in Poland is that you have six years of primary school, so I did three years in the school just uh, like uh, around the corner here, um, I think I can, yeah, maybe uh, there I could turn, because I think it was, yeah, here, okay, yeah, I can go there, no, I can, what the hell? Fuck. Okay, I can tell. So, in the first, second and third year I was uh, learning in this school here. I, think, I guess this is the most thing that uh, happened because there was no um, football court or whatever. It was just basically a desert. There was just uh, sand all over here and it was just like nothing. So I guess that changed, I guess you know that's something so for three years i was uh, going to school here and for classes um, four five, fifth and sixth i uh, changed the districts to the place that i lived um, the most so let me just fast forward there <laughs> what's a really funny story is that uh, I was, I don't know when, but, but like I was curiously talking with my gr grandma and like uh, talking how big uh, Paris is that I live in. And actually I checked on Wikipedia and what uh, was strange to realize is that my hometown, Austin in Poland, is pretty much the exact same that Paris is here now. It's just that uh, in Paris you have 10 times more people in the same area uh, which is crazy to think about because Paris has... I mean, uh, uh, like Austin I think has, what, 300,000 uh, people living in it? So it's fairly biggish um, city, but Paris ha have like two millions but you know there are obviously immigrants that are not even registered in the system so I'm assuming we would have hardly here about three million people in the same area as in my hometown city and what's funny is that uh, I think people uh, think uh, Paris is a really big city because what I assume is that uh, there are small villages around Paris uh, that uh, I guess make up for the area uh, for a small uh, city actually so it even though it's not that big people assume it's big because um, all villages around it are considered part of Paris even though they are not so I guess that's a fun fact right <laughs> uh, there are still no it's two years earlier so there are they are still building the railroads for, um, I think it was uh, Tramwell, I think it's called Tramwell, throughout the city. The, the lunch day was not uh, fun because uh, on the first station that it stopped, it stuck. <laughs> so I don't know who was building that, but someone incompetent uh, did the math, which uh, does not surprise me at all. Let's just jump there, on the other side of the... Here, okay. I guess this is the... Yeah, it's still the... You know, the station. <laughs> the station for trains and buses. What, what year is it? It's 2019 and this place still looks the same as like fucking 10 years ago. It's. It's crazy to see that now. 
it should have been renovated a long time ago. It's like this city is from the communism still. I'm not really even surprised what's happening nowadays in Poland with the fucking protest of LGBT or whatever, like, dude. You can tell by everything that's going on here. Everything. <laughs> it's, it doesn't help at all. I wonder if I will uh, remember some of you, <laughs> because that's my district, it's really close, so... I guess I'll try, I try to see if someone was um, outside <laughs> from my friends. <laughs> yeah, here this is my main crossroad that I was uh, living. I, live, I lived there in the other uh, road. This is the church, the fucking goddamn church of the district. Uh, who are these people? Oh my god, is this the Yehovah or whatever? Like this uh, Jewish? No. Am I, mi am I mixing up the religions? I'm not even sure. I'm un uneducated as fuck in this <laughs> department. Uh, yeah, this place is still exactly the same. What the fuck? So I was living on this street. Um, <laughs> what's funny is that um, uh, when I was looking uh, through the windows, well, here, in, in this building, there, you have a fucking sim cemetery. <laughs> like dead fucking people just across the um, <laughs> the street when I was living. Moreover, here you have, I think it was um, high school actually, this is high school. So there is a fucking high school just next to a cemetery. <laughs> like this place was a little bit uh, crazy to think about now. There I think was my... We call it gymnasium in um, in Poland, which is basically a side school between primary school and high school, because we don't have like I mean nowadays we have this old system, but we had a new system back then. Uh, but yeah, we will get back to this school because uh, this I remember the most of the things from this fucking place. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I will try to go to my um, newest uh, primary school here. You can fucking see that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you can see like uh, you know. I guess it's called tombstones or whatever. Oh, you know what's sweet? Okay, so there's a gate here to one of the side of the cemetery. Uh, whenever my pet uh, pet died or whatever. I would put an unofficial um, tombstone just right there when I have a circle pointed. And um, so to this day um, there is a little tombstone. I was making to tombstones out of like basically sticks and like writing on fucking paper the dates of death or whatever. <laughs> I guess that was my childhood. <laughs> Uh, and then whenever the rain uh, would come down, um, which was fairly usual, uh, I would uh, write again, uh, go to the cemetery and write again and just put on the tombstone again because uh, of the wet paper after the rain, I would just change it up. And sometimes some fucking uh, cleaners, like people who clean cemeteries or whatever, they were taking my fucking stuff as things that they thought there's nothing there, even though there are fucking dead pets <laughs> in the ground. Uh, I, I'm not even sure if there's something left to this day. Um, so just next to each and every one, the first uh, little tombstone was for my dog, uh, which the body was not there, obviously. Um, the turtle is still to this day there because I put him in a plastic like kinda an ornamentish um, container I uh, just like uh, and I put him there and I'm 100% sure to this day it's still there and when I uh, buried him there 
um, there was the flowers um, growing up from the space. So yeah, good times. And this and the first uh, little tombstone was for my dessert. I'm not even sure if I um, buried the body. <laughs> yeah, I had really interesting stuff to do. <laughs> you can tell. This city was fucked up. Uh, I, I hope we can turn here. Yeah, okay, so this is the road for my other school. Uh, can we turn there? Yeah, okay, here. Uh, we'll stop here. Oh, what is this little shed? What's the... 2017, okay. There was n nothing here, so they... I guess it's like a little scene for something. Maybe for some spectacles or whatever, or like concerts later? Uh, yeah, they still did not uh, build a court, which is whatever. Can I go there? <laughs> no, fuck. Ah, whatever. Um, same as uh, the other uh, school, I don't really have many memories from that because I think from the places that uh, I don't have memories is that the places were not really that impactful I guess in my life and I just forgot them because they were not m like meaningful to me at least so I guess whole primary school was is to this day kind of a blur for me uh, anyways um, but yeah I guess that's it <laughs> that's not really that interesting so we'll let's go to cemetery which is the most exciting place in the fucking district <laughs> that's for sure can I go there? Fuck no. Oh well. This fucking car is still here. This car is still here. I think it's from the fucking war, actually. Are there like some dates on it? I guess it's blurred because people thought uh, they still use it. Um, no, I can't see anything. Okay, well. This is some kind of memorial. Yeah, very interesting. Oh my god, this place! So this is my gymnasium where I went to school. Um, this was a normal school, but for me it was uh, profiled in terms of uh, additional classes which were um, dancing, because I used to dance uh, when I was little and then I uh, went to school uh, with additional dancing still so I'm I guess we I can say that I'm like a trained dancer for com competitions back in the day when I was at least um, because it was the time when you can dance and these kind of programs were like on the rise in the television so I think it was uh, back then very prestigious presti I mean not prestigious but I guess we can say that it was trendy to go to these kinds of uh, uh, classes. So uh, I think it was, yeah, I can tell that it was not mentioning college. Uh, it was probably the, the best school and most memorable that I had um, simply because so many things went down, <laughs> I guess, in my life and then uh, in the school, uh, which uh, I talked about uh, one, uh, once on this channel already. In the video that uh, was uh, describing uh, like my personality or whatever and I actually um, wrote to one of my friends from this school uh, to ask him where um, I went to this infamous um, um, cursed place when I was turned um, insane <laughs> uh, and I because I forgot how the village was called um, but I actually got the place, so I guess we will just go there from this place, and it was called Kafkovo. It sounds so rubbish in, uh, I guess, New Kakao? I'm not even sure. It sounds so rubbish in uh, English, but whatever. Uh, I will start to get fucking flashbacks. So I'm not even sure where to turn, because it's basically a really, really small village with a religious fucking places, so I guess I'll try to search for. I think it's here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So this is the fucking church. Okay. So what I yeah. So what I searched. This is the church that uh, we were praying each day. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and this, I, I'm pretty sure this was the place we were staying in. Um, I think I can go there now. Yeah, you can see, yeah, I can tell because uh, you have like a fucking Jesus, Jesus studies or whatever. This was the place that we were staying in when we went with, uh, with my class. It was this uh, re very religious um, weekend or whatever, I guess you could say. It was like... Uh, <laughs> um, adventurous weekend with Jesus. <laughs> And uh, and that's where most of the things went down there. Um, I even remember that uh, on the floor here, I guess for some reason, and I'm not even sure why, um, for some reason uh, on the floor there was a dining room, but like next to it was uh, like a really big bathroom, but it was, it was separated like for people that were I don't know like a really big bathroom you have you know you have like a, a bathroom in the cellars in prison um, where you have uh, like a just ceramic floors and walls and you just like have normal showers right so and it was like that there which was a really confusing thing for me the, then because it's supposed to be a fucking religious place but why there was a bathroom like that there <laughs> now to think of why I, I think about it was a little bit weird the first floor there was uh, our rooms I think I remember uh, because Mainly this uh, home was created for um, like, you know, groups that are visiting uh, this place for weekends and like whatever. But it was this fucking place that uh, I was, um, I had a fucking breakdown. <laughs> and uh, uh, this church, I'm not even sure if something went down there. I think it was just too fucking plain boring because we were just like praying or whatever but this this fucking building is is cursed I hate this place but at the same time uh, that's where we are we are right now <laughs> um, so I will just return um, <laughs> to my place <laughs> um, I guess what I can say about uh, my other school is that uh, it was a really lovely times that I spent here um, because it gave me like dancing skills like confidence everything like this pl this place truly like changed some things with my in my life for sure even though it would not be for some people the case I think that was my first uh, turning I guess point in my life so yeah they will not uh, get my money but I guess they can get my gratitude or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we will just go to the place that I went to high school. The thing is that I went to a technical high school, which to this day I have still a degree even though I did not finish my college. I have a degree in mechatronics, which is like, you know, a nice uh, word to say. Um, I do everything, but at the same time, I don't do fucking all in the factory uh, because it's uh, a profession that um, usually is for people you, um, ver very versatile in electronics or like, you know, in factories. It's basically a fucking f factory degree when you do some circuits or whatever, like printed circuits. Uh, electronic stuff, assembly, I think for assembly lines mostly but I went to the high school with a thought that I would become like an engineer of robots 
like you know I would build robots in the future uh, which I mean you can see where I am right now <laughs> uh, see in Bartoszice it was the same fucking building and we have the same thing in Austin is this a conspiracy or they really just copied whatever no I'm just pretty sure that it's just from fucking history because uh, our country what is this children our country <laughs> um, back in day like we were a medieval country mainly you know we had a lot of fortresses castles built and when there are wa there were wars and stuff like that a lot of memorial uh, buildings were burned down and destroyed and that's that's just the facts how it went down um, I'm trying to see if something changed but there is really literally everything is fucking the same <laughs> which is so annoying it's like I left this place with a good fucking reason <laughs> okay we're here so that was my technical high school that I went in um, uh, I guess what can I can say about memories here um, I don't it's kind of like similar with primary school to, uh, even though it was uh, like further in uh, my timeline um, of memory this I don't really remember much from the school and I think it's mainly because I was just I call that I was so dead inside after the gymnasium and after my fucking breakthrough or whatever um, breakdown <laughs> but it was breakthrough and that I was just so fucking done from this city that I just wanted to like fastly pass this fucking school and then just like fucking disappear from here um, so I guess that's why I don't really remember the school even though it was uh, I, you know it's hard to tell and I think just one I guess only one memory of this school is that I remember when we graduated from this school from the last class we had like a party in a friend's house uh, <laughs> um, you know <laughs> how how old were I I, th I think I was 19 at the time um, we had a party there and I think it was the, the no it was not the first time that I drank uh, profusely because in the fucking religious village that I just showed that was the actual first time that I drank myself to fucking death nearly. That's why I um, uh, like happened to be a fucking psychopath. So um, I guess uh, alcohol just like changed my fucking life. I guess. Um, so there was a party th uh, at the end of the year. There, we went to a house that I think it was outside of Austin at the time. Uh, as a I think not everyone from our class went because not everyone was drinking and even remotely interested in that which was a little bit weird because I guess as a class we were really split up I guess as a people and uh, group I, we, I basically we, we were like split into the groups of interests I was in a more like nerdy people who wanted to pass the school with good grades and then went to college. I think basically like that. The rest was just... Not to say that there were... With no purpose there. Uh, but, you know, just... Normal people. Average consumers of life. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I say, it will get uh, across as offensive, so whatever. Um, I mean, pretty much all people that I remember from my class are cool nowadays anyways with me. Even though I have no contact with anyone, <laughs> I consider uh, that uh, we're cool 
So, I don't know, I don't really care about it anyways. Okay, I'm just backtracking. So we went to this fucking party, and what I remember is that I drank nearly as twice as I drank when I was in this religious village. Um, at the time, I had a really high tolerance for, for alcohol, so basically I was drinking straight up um, vodka. I think it was back then a homemade vodka, so it was even higher in percentage. And so I drank basically for, uh, like straight up uh, vodka from uh, cups, you know, like you have cups for tea or whatever, <laughs> or mugs, I think it's mugs. Uh, so I was just dr drinking like that, just uh, profusely, uh, really fastly. And I think at the end of the day I drank, to, to not lie, I think something between 0 0.7 to 1 liter of vodka, I think it was. It was, in, it was really high in number for a person that drank for the second time in his life. So you can assume how fucked up I was and uh, what I remember, and to this day I uh, remember, um, because we have a little group on Facebook and someone uploaded a video of me um, <laughs> struggling to survive in a, um, I, I think it was like a camper, like camper for camping, um, that I just like, like crawled myself into, um, to basically like uh, vomit on myself and then just like vomited to sleep myself because I could not bear anything that was going on back then. Um, so I guess I will put in, put this video in my video <laughs> to show you how fucked up I was. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dobra, kurwa zje, zżygałeś się jebany świniaku. Ale mam dla ciebie ostrego bonusa, widzę, że draka też jest kurwa na gaciach jak trzeba. Nie, to jest zimko, brak. Ale kurwa, jak będzie też kołderwa. Bo tu już masz kurwa dwa placki do sprzątania. Pamiętasz o tym? Weź, zrobimy tak. O kurwa, zażygany rękaw. O, tu Nie. będzie. Dobra, mordo. To jest si? No dobra. But you know, uh, well, I mean, it was good times, so I vomited like a fucking pile of dog shit on a main table in the dining room um, because I was the, remember, the main rule when you drink that much, <laughs> don't eat some bullshit like fucking sausages, some meat sticks from barbecue or whatever because you will create an art form on a table, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> so I think I, I have the picture of that, which I will include also. <laughs> uh, you know, I consider myself a sculptor of um, unnecessary art, so... Good times, I think, uh, and I uh, uh, will never do that again. <laughs> Um, you know, I graduated from this high school and I think pretty much lost contact with everyone because I was, I moved out from the city and I wanted to just like get the fuck away from this city.